everybody. Just wanted to uh, show y'all how my garden's doing and what my plans are for it. I um, I have some acorn squash in here that I noticed. Where'd they go? Where did you go? I know he's in here. Oh, there he is, right there. And I do have some zucchinis in here. That are just little bitty things. Um, cucumbers, I got some babies. Wherever they went. But yeah, there's some little itty bitties in here, but I'm not sure if they're going to make it or not. Hopefully. There's some more zucchini. I planted some sweet tomatoes under this grapefruit tree. I, I'm not sure how they're going to do, but I'm sure they'll do okay. I also transplanted some basil into here because they weren't doing so well out front. So I planted them over here instead. Um, over here I, um, I had some beans that were outdated. I forget which kind. I mean, there were a few bads that were outdated. And so I just, like, composted them under the soil and guess what I think they all came up these are my black eyed peas which keep giving me black eyed peas and they keep flowering so I'm going to get more black eyed peas the tomatoes are still blooming but I haven't gotten any tomatoes yet uh, the kale keeps getting eaten by bugs. I guess that's kind of like um, some sacrificial plants. That way they leave the others alone, huh? There's some parsley. I've transplanted. Uh, sorry, I've transplanted some of the beans into these other locations. And over here, well, here's our little. Red seedless grape. We'll have to plant it in its happy little home soon. We have tomatillos. Which are not, they're not ready yet. They're just little babies. But they're getting bigger. The plant's like trying to take over the whole area. I'm not sure what this is. I planted some compost under the soil. And... I don't know if it's a cucumber or, or some kind of squash or what it is. Um, here, what I'm trying to do is make a, um, a hoodle culture garden. We've got this big part of a yucca tree right here. I've, um, I've taken off some of the, the leaves from it. And just kind of mulch the area a little bit. And so I'm going to dig an area here and put it in there. And put some of those, um, some of those branches that my hubby cut from the, um, from the mandarin tree. At least we think it's a mandarin or tangerine tree. Where uh, I'm going to put those on top of and around the, um, the yucca tree they need there, the trunk. Um, our strawberries are doing good. We, uh, we actually have a couple of strawberries. Yay! And I took some advice from a, a video that I saw. It's the, um, the New Jersey gardener or something like that. He, he's got some amazing videos. He painted some rocks red. And I actually didn't paint these. That's when the uh, utility companies came out and marked out where the uh, where power lines and things like that are. And one of them was red. I think that was the electric company or something. So I um, I used a few of those rocks that they had already, you know, painted. So why not? <laughs> that is a bean plant. I think it's a green bean. It's the only one that, that really actually came up and survived after I planted a few from seed. These are sweet potato plants. They're taking over the place. This is turmeric that's growing. I thought I planted more. I'm 
sure I did. I know I planted some in a side yard as well. But yeah. This is a zucchini. Zucchini plant. It's grown humongous. It's monstrous. And I've got a baby zucchini there and one over there. They're doing great. They love the sunshine. I, I didn't think they would like the uh, the hot Arizona sun. But yeah, I guess they love it. There's um, a green onion. I think those are radishes. Sometimes I forget what I plant because I plant so much, you know, hoping something will survive and grow and be fruitful. Um, that's purslane. We love that stuff. And there's a little baby palm tree volunteer. And then over here, I think, I'm not sure if this is squash or cucumber or beans or what it is, but it's some stuff that I wanted to compost. I just put it right into the soil. And then that's some watermelon that I planted like a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. It's coming up really good. There's our little pomegranate tree. I got it as a baby from a, um, a 99 cent store. It's got little flowers on it. I'm not sure if it'll fruit or not, but it does have the little flowers. And I forget what my friend said this kind of plant is. But I'm sure the bees and hummingbirds and all that love it. It's got pretty little flowers. There's some society garlic. I had it out front and it was growing like crazy so I kind of divided it up. There's a wandering Jew. So pretty with all those cute little flowers. There's my little rose bush. He just loves it over here. Some mother-in-law tongue from some cuttings from a friend of mine. Thank you, Annette. <laughs> and I forget what kind of tree this is. But yeah, the uh, the pods are edible and they're, well, the, the beans inside the pods are edible. They're really good, actually. So that's an update on my garden. I'm really trying to get that um, Poodle Coulter garden growing. Um, I keep planting things down here and it's not really doing any good. I don't know why. <clears throat> so, but yep, yeah, it's just an ongoing process. Just um, like construction or something, you know, you just, that takes a while. You just do it little by little and make it how you want it and take it from there. There's a couple of volunteer palm trees in here. A rubber plant that my friend gave me. It's doing really good. So is that one and and this. I got some chocolate mints down here that's growing like crazy. And then there's some rosemary over here. It's doing really good. It it really likes the sun. So if you got the rosemary, yeah, put her in the sun and she'll do just fine. There's some day lilies. They have since divided since I planted them there. Here's a, um, a green pepper plant. It's got little bitty green peppers on it. All over the place. At least I think they're green peppers. Yeah, I think so. If I remember right, that's what they are. And this is a jalapeno pepper plant. And it's got flowers, but no jalapenos yet. There's, that's just a regular mint, and of course it's um, <laughs> it's spreading out. No. Oh. Um, here we go. I forget what this is, but it's doing really good. Some marigold. Here's some stevia. Stevia is 
definitely all natural if you have the leaf. Now, if you go and you buy the powdered stuff, it's got what is it? Maltodextrin, I think just the primary ingredient. This, mmm, um, it's so sweet and so good. Totally natural. And this, I think, is Thai basil. It's just spicy, I think. Mm-hmm, mm. Like a licorice flavor. It's really good. There's some uh, purple alyssum. Real carpet, I guess. Alyssum. I have idea what kind of succulent that is. The name of it. There's some more basil. So the garden's doing pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to keep the birds away. Or not away, but, you know, from digging up plants and seeds and things. Um, I did put a... Uh, well, we do have a, a bird bath. I stopped using it because I thought maybe the birds would be attracted by it and and keep digging up um, plants or seeds. But um, so far, since I've been using it again, they've um, they haven't been doing that. They've been pretty happy with the bird bath. So um, that's all I got right now. Oh, I do have some leaves in this bag. I'll use that for some mulch. That'll be fun. So, yeah, well, thanks for watching the video, and hopefully it gave you some ideas. This is um, spicy globe basil. This is spicy. It's yummy, though. Mm. But, yeah, thanks for watching, and um, have a great day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And share and subscribe. Have a wonderful day, okay? Keep gardening out there. Bye-bye.